Hey guys, this is Richard from Square One Media, and today we're going to show you how to create a custom form in WordPress to search by category. It's very simple, hopefully we can get through it quickly. This is our basic blog. We have the search here. Now we've put this search bar here using the normal method of PHP get search form function here for WordPress. This pulls in the search form. Now we wanna be able to search by category with this because by default, if you search for anything here, it will just pull all posts through. We don't want that. We wanna be able to search by category. So we need to build our own custom form. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, the easiest way is to use this get search form here. And then on your web page, just do view source and scroll down and find the form here for the search. And we just copy that and we want to paste it into a new file in our theme. And we want to call this file custom search form.php. And I've already set up a div here for styling. So we'll just paste this form in here and we'll uh, put that in there like that. Okay, make our code all nice. And there we go. So this will now be identical to the standard WordPress search form, but we want to be able to search by category. So first of all, we need to look here on the action. This will default to the web address of your web page, and we don't want that because we might want to put this into a plugin or we might want to put it into a widget and put it on the store or give it to a client or whatever. So we want to be able to make sure this works across all websites that use it. So in the action, we do simply we simply open up a PHP tag with an echo for get site URL parentheses and then close that PHP tag like so. And the next thing to look at is here, this middle input value here with the name SIDS. This is the search form field. Now what we want to do is we want to show the search query that the users used in there. Because right now, if I just put post here, post goes away, but we want post to stay in there. So in this value section, we need to open up another PHP tag like so. And we put PHP the underscore search underscore query straightforward dead easy so we close that off like this and then that'll pull through the query every time the user searches so it, it keeps it all sort of a bit, bit of contingency for the uh, for the user there we have the form basically ready for our additions to put in the search by category so let's get started there's two ways we can do this we can either set up the search form so it only searches specific categories or one particular category, or we could use a drop down menu and let the user choose their category. Now, both methods do have merit. It depends on the use case. So your client might want a search form that only searches specific posts, regardless of whether the user wants to or not. So we'll do that one first and then we'll look at a drop down menu. So it's very simple. All we do is we'll pull this custom search form into our page. And to do that, we replace this tag here for get search form. We put in here, get underscore template spelling, template underscore part, and then parentheses, and then little dashes. And we want to type the file name of our custom search file, which we made earlier, which we called custom hyphen search hyphen form. And then we close that there. And that's it. Now we'll put that on our pages. So let me just put that here, like so. Excellent. Now, first thing to do, let's make the search form only search one particular category. I've had three categories on this basic blog here. We've got a podcast category, a video and a review, and the title's named like that. So we know we're in the right place. So let's do uh, another input tag. And this time we do the type equals hidden. This is so the user doesn't have a box or anything to fill in. The value equals, just leave that blank for now. Name equals, we'll call it cat. And then ID, now this is very important. We have to give it a custom ID because other category dropdowns use this ID. So we'll call it custom cat like that. And then we just close that off like so. Now, how this works is in the podcast, that is category ID two. So in here, if we put a two in there as the value and save it, what should happen is whatever we search for will only search the podcast category. Let's try it now. Let's put post. There we go. 
hasn't brought up anything else because it's only looking in that specific category. You can even exclude. So if you wanted to do an exclude podcasts, we just throw a minus on there, save it, go back home. If we put post, it'll bring through the other two and not the podcast. Look at that. That's pretty cool, that, isn't it? So that's there. We can also do multiple if you want to do like minus two, uh, just minus two like that, minus three or two, three. It works like that. So there you have it. That's how you create a custom search form that searches specific categories. But now let's do something really cool. Let's put a drop down menu in here for the user so they can select the category they want. Now, just to save some time, I've typed this out earlier. Let me just whiz it over onto the sublime text here and then bring it in line with our code. Now, let me do a little bit of explaining here very quickly. This is the WP drop-down categories function. Now, you can read about this on the WordPress Codex website, which I recommend because all of the arguments for this array are in there. And I'll run through these. Now, this is a perfect one. It's very simple, very straightforward. The show option all, by default, if we just leave that out, the user can't search all posts. But I'd like the user to search all posts. So we put a show option all. And then we write all posts because we want it to say all posts. Order by, this is going to be sorted alphabetically. Echo is one. If we put that as zero, then the search drop down doesn't actually display. So we want to make sure that's one. Selected, we want to do dollar sign cat. Hierarchical equals true. So that means if the, if the website has some child categories, they'll display as like a kind of hierarchy. So I like that one there. Class is cat drop down. That's so we can do some styling, some cool CSS. This is very important. We need to give it a custom ID. So we're going to call it custom cat drop. And then here in the value field, we want the term ID because we want the value to be the category ID. And if we just click save now, so we've got rid of the other input line we made before and we put this drop down in. If we refresh our page now, you see there's this cool drop down menu here. Uh, sorted alphabetically. Now, if we just put post in there, search all posts, watch what happens. So we get all posts. It says post in the search bar, which is what we wanted, and it stays as all posts. But if we search for podcast and then search again, it'll search only podcasts. Po post will stay there as before, but here we'll say podcast. And that's happened because we've done the selected as cat here. So that's really cool. So we want that. So we do review and we can continue on like this. There we go. That's brilliant. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. If I haven't covered anything, just feel free to ask a question in the comments. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any tips or tricks of your own, leave them in the comments section for other users. And as always, I'll put the source code for this video in a link in the description below. I'm Richard Webster. This is creating a custom search by category in WordPress. Take care.